Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the property panel to really speed up your After Effects workflow. And to use the properties panel, you'll need to update your version of After Effects to 23.4 or later. To open the properties panel manually, go up to the top menu, click on window, then select properties. When you select any layer in the layers panel, the properties panel is going to always show you the transform properties for that layer. Saving you time from having to twirl open that layer, twirl open transform to adjust things like the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, or opacity, you can do so right in the properties panel. And you can also animate in the properties panel. So I'll drag the CTI to where I want to start the animation. If I click on the stopwatch for scale, you'll see it automatically twirls open that layer. It shows me the scale property and adds the keyframe on the timeline. If I click any of the other stopwatches to add keyframes, you'll see it's automatically revealing those properties, adding the keyframes. I can just drag the CTI forward in time, make any adjustments. It's gonna automatically add the second keyframe, just like it would if I was working down here, only it's nice and easy using the properties panel. And if you double click on any property in the properties panel, so if I double click on anchor point, you see it opens it up in the layers panel. And where the properties panel gets really useful is when you select shape layers or text layers. So I'll start by selecting the shape layer. So the top section is going to always show you the transform properties for the entire layer. You'll see here now we have this section called layer contents. So currently both shapes are selected. So if I was to try to move these, they're gonna move as a group. But if I click on triangle, now I have control over the individual shapes. Same if I click on circle. If I double click on triangle, it's gonna open it up in the layers panel. And if you look below, now we have full control over the shape properties as well as the shape transform controls. So rather than having to twirl these open, twirl open the triangle, twirl open fill, now we can simply use the properties panel, easily control things like the fill color, the stroke color, the stroke width. You have full control over the transform properties for the individual shapes. And you can see by the stopwatches, all of these properties can be animated right from the properties panel. And now let's look at the properties panel in text. I'll select the text layer, go to the properties panel. The top is gonna to have the transform properties for the entire text layer. But down below, you'll see the character panel. So you can change the font. You can change all the characteristics of that type. There's also a little more button here. So if you can expand the character panel, you'll see the paragraph panel below that. And at the very bottom, you're gonna see this very handy text animator. That's right, you can click and you can add a text animator right from the properties panel without needing to come down to the layers panel, twirl everything open, very cool. Just one thing to note, if I click on plus animator and I choose one of the animator properties, I'm still gonna need to do all the adjustments down in the layers panel. And as of now, you're not gonna see what you just added in the properties panel but it's still a really easy way to quickly add animators without having to come down to these small buttons. You can simply just add as many as you need right from the properties panel, then go down to the layers panel and make the adjustments. And the last thing I'll show you is auto open. By default, when you click on the shape tool, the pen tool or the type tool. So if I click on T to add some type, you're gonna see the properties panel opens automatically. And you might not like that. To turn it off, you'll see this little button right here that allows you to toggle on and toggle off the properties panel at any time. But there's also a little checkbox right here. If you uncheck that and toggle that off, now if I go back and click on T, you'll see that properties panel no longer opens. And you just need to repeat that for both the shape layer and the pen tool. And that is the very useful properties panel for shape layers, text layers, and more in Adobe After Effects CC 23.4 or later. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.